What do you do when you want to get away from the city's hustle and bustle and spend some time in tranquility and solitude? You raise your eyes to the starry sky. While the space above Earth may appear to be a serene place with a mellow vibes, this is actually not the case. At any given time, there are several cosmic activities taking place in the universe. From meteor showers, rocket launches to planetary conjunctions. Universe has something for everybody. So on this channel, once a month, we stare deep into the night sky to wonder at the magnificence of the cosmos, which it freely presents to everyone. So stick with us to the very end of the video as we go through every astronomical event of July 2022. Year 2022 completes first half. July 1st, the 182nd day of the year, marks the start of the second half of the year. A chance to take a step back and assess your year thus far in terms of your goals and objectives, as well as take action to get back on track if necessary. It's an excellent time to reflect on your finances, diet, work, and other areas of your life where you might wish to make changes. Use the second part of the year to your advantage. The Earth at Ophelion while we were busy with our daily routines, the Earth continued to revolve around the Sun and is now at its farthest point from it. Aphelion Point is another name for this location. This incident will technically cause the Sun to appear the smallest on this day, but a 3% difference is barely noticeable to the naked eye. Pace X Dragon CRS-25 Cargo Launch CRS-25, or SpaceX Commercial Resupply Service, is a cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station that will launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The Falcon 9 rocket will be used to launch this cosmic cargo truck. As a matter of fact, Falcon 9 is the only U.S. rocket completely licensed for delivering humans to the International Space Station, as well as the only commercial rocket capable of launching humans into orbit. The Cargo Dragon will take off without the Super Draco abort engines, seats, cockpit controls, or the life support equipment needed to keep humans alive in orbit. Compared to the older Dragon CRS design utilized for ISS cargo flights, this newer design has several advantages, such as a speedier recovery, refurbishment, and reflight procedure. Under the NASA CRS Phase II contract, the new Cargo Dragon capsules will splash down with parachutes in the Atlantic Ocean east of Florida replacing the prior zone in the Pacific Ocean west of Baja, California. Let's wish this expedition the best of luck. Manhattan Henge It's no surprise that New York City isn't the best place to see mind-blowing celestial events because it's a concrete jungle. However, this does not rule out the possibility of seeing at least one. Manhattan Henge, a series of Instagram-worthy celestial occurrences, is quickly approaching, and New Yorkers should have their phones or professional cameras ready. The phenomenon is also known as the Manhattan Solstice, and it occurs around sunset, at the time of year when the sun aligns precisely with the Manhattan Street grid. The light beams across the city streets as the sun rises beyond the horizon, providing spectacular views and, of course, photo possibilities. While working as an astronomer at the American Museum of Natural Histories, Hayden Planetarium in the late 1990s, Neil deGrasse Tyson invented the phrase Manhattan Henge. Tyson intended to pay respect to Stonehenge by staging a gorgeous celestial event in New York City, and the phenomenon grew in popularity over time. The best places to see this phenomenon are 145th Street, close to Broadway, 72nd Street, and 42nd Street. If you want to stand on 42nd Street, we recommend that you do so at the Tudor City Overpass or near Grand Central in Pershing Square. Buck Supermoon This full moon will be the second supermoon of the year. A supermoon is when the full moon phase coincides with the time when the moon is closest to the Earth in its orbit. The full moon of July is known as the Buck Moon, named after the new antlers that emerge from a buck's forehead around this time of the year. Expect a large range in ocean tides, from exceptionally low to exceptionally high, for the next few days. Hey, it seems like 83% of you are not subscribed yet. I would really appreciate if you join the channel for more such amazing videos. Back to the video. Saturn Moon Conjunction 
the planet of rings and Earth's moon will be located in the same location in the night sky. This conjunction can be seen with the naked eye. Try to spot the rings of Saturn using your telescope. Jupiter-Moon Conjunction Just a few days later, Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, will be in conjunction with the Moon, making it the second planet to conjunct with the Moon this month. Look out for both the celestial bodies and the constellation of Cetus to enjoy this beautiful display with your naked eyes. Pro Tip A telescope can reveal a good view of the moons of Jupiter. Lunar Occultation of Mars when the moon passes in front of a star planet or other celestial body, its light is obscured for the viewer on Earth. This is known as a lunar occultation. On the night of July 21st, our moon will fully cover the light of the red planet Mars. Here's a map that indicates exactly where on the planet this event will occur. New Moon On this night, the bright side of the moon will be facing away from the Earth. A new moon night is the most invaluable time for a night sky astronomer. This is the best time for astronomers and space enthusiasts to bring out their telescopes and watch the deep sky objects without any interference from the moonlight. Jupiter enters retrograde motion. Jupiter will go into retrograde motion, which means that it will stop moving eastwards and start moving westwards instead. The retrograde motion is produced by the Earth's own spin around the Sun. As the Earth circles the Sun, our perspective swings, causing the apparent positions of objects in the sky to shift from side to side with the course of a year. The planet's long-term eastward migration through the constellations is superimposed over its nodding motion. Piscis Austrinid Meteor Shower 2022 Finally, the month of July will come to a close with three spectacular meteor showers. The first is the Piscis Austrinid Meteor Shower, which will be active from July 15 to August 10 with a peak rate of meteors around July 29. It will be a great opportunity to see the shooting stars and make a wish that you want to come true. The meteor shower's radiant point will be in the constellation Piscis Austrinus, although meteors can be seen from anywhere in the sky. Don't miss out on this memorable experience. Southern Delta Aquariid Meteor Shower 2022 Probably the most incredible and magnificent event of July 2022. The Delta Aquariid meteor shower offers an opportunity for those who missed the previous meteor shower. The Southern Delta Aquariid meteor shower will be active from July 12 to August 23, peaking around July 30. The meteors will be produced at a rate of 30 per hour. The meteor shower's radiant point will be in the constellation Aquarius, although meteors may be seen from anywhere in the sky. The best time to watch the shooting stars is after the midnight. The greatest part is that the moon will be quite thin, producing no moonlight interference, resulting in the darkest skies and the highest possibility of seeing several fireballs for lucky stargazers. Bring a blanket or lawn chair to enjoy the star disco from the comfort of your own home. Don't miss out on this truly memorable opportunity. Alpha Capricorned Meteor Shower 2022 The Alpha Capricorned Meteor Shower will occur in the constellation Capricornus on the same day, but in a different part of the sky. From July 3 to August 15, the Alpha Capricorned Meteor Shower will be active, with a peak rate of meteors around July 30. The meteors will be produced at a rate of 5 meteors per hour. What are your thoughts on the upcoming astronomical events in July? Personally, I'm looking forward to the Delta Aquarid Meteor Shower, which will gracefully sketch a canvas of dazzling shooting stars over our night skies. The July 11th Manhattan Henge, on the other hand, is something I really want to see. Which astronomical wonder was your personal favorite? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for staying with us. I wish you well in your astronomical endeavors and I hope you truly enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing the channel if you like the video. And as always, thanks for watching.